Hello everybody. I'm going to discuss an error or a glitch that I discovered uh, teaching last week. And it's about spell checking in Revit. <coughs> now, most of you know this little sentence. It's just got every um, letter in the English alphabet. And I'm going to substitute D-A-W-G, dog, for dog. And I'm then going to spell check here and see if it picks up the spelling error. And I can see it does indeed pick up the spelling error. Okay, so why it does it do this? If we have a look at our options in our file locations, uh, in spell checking rather, and there we've got our custom dictionary which we can edit. There's no DAWG in there. What about this one over here? We edit this and we see there's no DAWG in here. If we had to look for all the Ds, DA, there's no DAWG in here. Okay. So how do we handle this? Our typical workflow is to go to our custom dictionary in this case. If I want to add this word and it's not a building term, but maybe just my own custom dictionary, that's my words that I want to exclude. And I say DAWG. And I go File, Save, and I close, and I say OK. Now I'm expecting DAWG to be picked up as a word that is excluded from the spell check, and yet it is still there. Is it maybe to do with the caps? No. It still picks it up as a, and now it's spelled exactly the same as the entry within the um, custom dictionary. However, if I had to add it, and this is maybe a workaround if you don't want to follow the, uh, the process that I'm going to outline shortly, if you had to add it to the building industry directory, and you spell check, now it picks it up. All right, so what is happening over here is that the software, somewhere in the coding, it knows how to point to the um, building dictionary as opposed to the custom dictionary. And the reason I think that this Revit installation is doing this is because I've installed it on my D drive. Because of a shortage of space on my C drive, I've installed it on my D drive. And I think the coding is explicitly looking for this file on the C drive. Now, how do we get around this? Right. Let me just undo what I've done over here. I want to take out the DAWG from the spell check in the in the building dictionary. Okay, and just to uh, make sure again in the custom dictionary, let's file save. Well, let's just put it in here. DAWG. All right, so we've got it in our custom dictionary. We're saving the file. We're closing it. And then I'm supposed to see that it is not excluded from the spell check. There we go. It's picking it up as a spelling error. All right. So the way that we can get around this and the way that we can use our own custom dictionary, not all languages are accommodated, but some of them are, is we look at something called the INI file. And the INI file you'll find within your C drive users, your name, app data, roaming, autodesk, revit, and then Revit 2021. To make sure that you see this in your view tab, just make sure that you show hidden items. I always just show hidden items in file extensions because I like being able to see them. All right, so there's the Revit INI file. And if you open this, you can open it with Notepad. And you have to search for spelling. And it will take you down to the spelling options that you see over there. Now, it's quite easy to find on the internet, and I've included the links. What is the, how to use a custom Revit INI file? It's often used with larger installations at companies. Then there's a, a little bit about that, that that you can read. And then this is what's important to us over here is how do you set your language code? You can see they've got French. Uh, with accented and unaccented capitals, they've got German, um, they've got Italian, Spanish, and English, and American English. All right. And then the other thing that they've got 
is this uh, default value for option flags SSCE, which is ignore words with numbers and find repeated words. So by default, they just put here 31. I'm keeping mine to 18. And then they've got the path where it's looking for the program against a variable that sets it equal. So you've got the arch dictionary and then you've got the custom dictionary. And that points towards a file location. And then the language code 10, that would just indicate that it is um, Italian in this case. All right. In our case, it would probably be British or zero for American. Um, I've just left it blank. All right. So let's just have a look at what I need to put in this file. I need to put custom dict equals and then the path of the custom dictionary. So I'm copying this text across into my INI file. I'm pasting it in there and then I'm saving this file and I'm closing this file. Now this file is loaded. When it starts, so do I expect it to work at the moment? No, but let's just see if it does. It still picks it up as a spelling error. So let's just save this quickly. We're going to close Revit down completely. We're going to open Revit up again. Now it's going to read the INI file and it's going to understand the path that I've set for it. Okay, there's one other thing that I forgot to mention, <coughs> which I think is vitally important when you, well, it is important because otherwise it's not going to pick it up as a spelling mistake, all right? So yeah, you can see it's still not picking up this thing as a spelling mistake. I've restarted Revit and it's pointing towards the right directory and everything is fine, but it's not working. Why is it not working? So the reason it's not working is because of carriage return line feed. So those of us who are old enough, like myself, to have worked before the days of word processors will remember typewriters. And these typewriters, they had this um, mechanism with which you could turn the page on a little bit and return to the beginning of the page. And that was called carriage return line feed. We know this today as enter. So while this file is being read, it's getting to the end of file in coding terms EOF before it's jumped to a new line. So remember to press enter after the word that you've typed in there. And that will now input the word into the dictionary so that it may be excluded from the check after this is done now we're going to have success all right so let's see is it going to pick it up as a spelling check now no it's fine so remember garage return line feed and then save the file